Brock Bowers is a generational tight end and he is considered a lock to go top 10 in this year's NFL draft. So I decided to find out why everyone is so high on this guy. And I'm going to go ahead and break down his film against Auburn. So make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content, man. It helps me out so much. And now, Let's check out how he played against Auburn. So Georgia does a really nice job of utilizing Brock Bowers as a tight end in multiple different facets and in multiple different areas. So you can see right here, he's a top inline tight end and you're just gonna work him downfield, get him in that running head start. Now he's at full speed and you have your quarterback out in motion towards the side. This is second and short, really like second and medium, as you can see at the bottom of the screen right here. And we're basically betting on Brock Bauer's speed and athleticism to beat these defenders in the middle of the field before they can get to the sideline. Brock Bowers is going to get past that first down marker. And you can see he doesn't really do much in terms of running after the catch right here. He just has the speed and athleticism as a tight end to beat those Auburn defenders before they get him uh, behind that first down yard line marker. And also we're gonna see later on, this, to me, this is like an extension of the run game. He can run the ball too. So in that last play, we talked about the speed and the athleticism towards the sideline. Now right here, it's just gonna be straight line speed, the explosiveness right here. And now watch how he beats these defenders. And this man is wide open because this receiver is taking out the safety. If he held on to this ball and threw this one up to Brock Bowers, that is an easy touchdown because he beat that defender. I really want you guys to see this in full speed. Not a great get off on the ball, but boom, right there he explodes downfield. He's got the speed and athleticism, and right there he showed explosiveness. So I talked all about the athleticism, the speed and explosiveness, but now we have Brock Bowers, the dog, the Georgia Bulldog, and he's going to show how he runs with the ball in his hands, man. He is being used as a fullback in a short yardage to, yards to go situation right here, and and he is pumping his legs all the way. This dude is a freaking dog being used as a fullback, man. The athleticism and the run after catch, yards after catch ability by this guy, you're going to see it later on. Brock Bowers is used a lot as a tight end just right behind the tackle on this outside shoulder. That's where he's lined up typically in this Georgia offense. And they use him a lot in motion after the snap behind that offensive line. And this time he's going to be used as a blocker boom take out that linebacker that's all you need to do and then you just have your running back run right behind him for a couple yards that's a great block another really good block by brock bowers he's the second tight end right here and he's just gonna his responsibility right here is just to wash this outside linebacker all the way towards the middle of the field and you can see he gets him past that hash mark so that the running back can run right behind him which is exactly what we want to see another really good block where he's just doing his assignment this is a defensive lineman this right here is the defensive lineman. We got Brock Bowers right here as the tight end, and he's going to take on his man. And now he's going to do a little more than his assignment. As you can see, he's driving him all the way down the field, and then boom, pancake. Brock Bowers, the tight end, pancaking a defensive lineman on Auburn, bro. This man can block. He's got all of the athleticism. And, and like I said, we're going to see him catch the ball later on in this video because he did not catch the ball a ton until the second half late in the third quarter. But the blocking ability, it's something that you get excited about just as much as the receiving ability. Now we're going to see him lined up way out wide right here. And I like this little hezzy move as if he's going to go towards the inside, try to fake any of these defenders. It doesn't work because we're playing cover three with these three Auburn defenders and so he's got that deep zone anyways Brock Bowers runs right into it and is he's gonna get this ball but it's gonna be broken up right there instead of being a touchdown and I want to show you guys why I'm showing you this play because boom right there he's got both hands on that ball this should be a touchdown man you got to hold on to it I think the Auburn defenders hand just kind of chipped it on this play you can't really tell because it's so pixelated but that's one of those that I want my tight end to catch. I know it's kind of a tough catch, but you see that freeze frame right there. That's two hands and you got all the space. You really want him to come down with that one. And now look, you can see how much attention Brock Bowers gets on this Georgia's offense because you can see the safety is playing deep. This one is as well on the opposite side. But as soon as Brock Bowers cuts towards the inside right there, you see that movement. Boom. He plants cuts and the safety comes right up the field because he knows this ball boom is headed right towards brock bowers if you look at the other georgia receiver this man is he's got so much space on this safety because he's not brock bowers attracting all that attention from that safety on the opposite side but look at this throw because again 
It hits Brock Bowers right in the hands. This one's a tougher catch to make because that Auburn defender was just <clears throat> so quick on breaking downfield. So I don't put this one as a drop. But that last one, I think that's that's more of a drop. This one's a tough catch. Now we got a little bit of savviness in this route running because we're going to see Brock Bowers right here. And this linebacker, he's giving him all of the outside leverage. And Brock Bowers, he's going to have to run this route towards the inside. So he's, he's going to have to get that inside leverage. He says, okay, I'm going to do this little shimmy right here as if I'm going inside right now. But I'm just going to take the outside that you're giving me. And then as soon as you turn your back to try to catch up with me, I'm going to turn and go towards the inside. And it's going to put the defender in a blender. He's got all of that space now because of that little savviness move that he had. Ball is just thrown way behind him. That's a big chunk of yardage that Brock Bowers would have had and a lot of space to work with. Again, we're going to see him as a blocker. This is something that the Chargers could use so much of. They could have used it a lot this year, man. But he's just going to take out... Oh my god, look at the hole that is opened up for this running back because of... <laughs> this makes me excited. <laughs> I love seeing tight ends block like that, man. Especially when you consider Brock Bowers is so good receiving as well. Now we're going to see Brock Bowers lined up on the line of scrimmage right here. And again, we're going to see that little move where he needs that inside leverage. Defender's not giving it to him. So he says, okay, I'm going to take that outside leverage, get right behind you. And then I'm going to cut right up the field. And he is wide open on this play as well. That's kind of a break in the Auburn defense, but Brock Bowers, the run after catch as well, goes Hash, numbers, sidelines, and gets a huge chunk of yardage right there. Really good route running and good run after the catch as well. We, we see that athleticism, man. Look at this in real speed, bro. Because you don't appreciate that this is a tight end doing this. And you've seen the blocks that I've already shown you, man. Bro, Brock Bowers is just such a good tight end in every facet. Taking out the cornerback right there easy lane for the running back to work with and then we have the lead blocker left tackle taking out that man i mean georgia's offense everybody's doing their job on this play and it's a nice beautiful run for a touchdown brock bowers great block again you guys remember that play earlier on in the video that i showed you of brock bowers just exploding up the field we're gonna see it again Fake screen, this defender is going to come up and now we're going to explode right past him. This wide receiver is taking out this outside cornerback because he is the deeper man. And right now we're going to have Brock Bowers just explode and take up that space that this cornerback is vacating. And the quarterback throws it a little bit behind him, but Brock Bowers can catch that. And now check out the run after the catch, man. The athleticism, the yak ability, the blocking. This dude has it all. Look at it from this angle because it's a little prettier. You can see he catches the ball. He has to come to like a full stop. Makes that man miss. Gets a nice block from the wide receiver and drags an Auburn defender all the way. He even broke that tackle. And then he gets gang tackled close to midfield. One thing that I have noticed from Brock Bowers is that when it's man coverage, as you can see right here, this is man, he does have a little more difficulty with creating separation. I showed you how he creates separation against zone, but that is a catch right there. And I'm going to show you right over here because it's tough to see from that angle. But look, not a lot of separation stops for the ball, kind of swipes the defender away. Not enough for pass interference though. And then catch that ball with one hand behind him. Like the, look at the freeze frame, bro. And he catches that ball deep down the field, right up the seam, man. That, th this is a tight end. Brock Bowers right here, right side of the line of scrimmage. Just check him out. Fake run. Auburn defenders come up. Brock Bowers behind them. And he just throws this ball to Brock Bowers. One arm fully extended on the run. He catches this ball right here. And check this out, because this isn't over yet. He runs into that Auburn defender, and now he's got two guys on him. He is still trying to work his way down the field and gets just about at the 10 yard line he gained like two or three yards after he made this insane one hand extended catch man that that's just absurd now we got him right here lined up as a wide receiver and this really honestly is just a really good route uh concept by georgia we're gonna have him work on this linebacker basically run into the opposite hash and then cut towards this side of the field and he's gonna cut towards this side of the field because this defender has to take into account the shallow route this defender's too far to the sideline to uh, come into this play and then this outside wide receiver is running down the field taking away the safety so we have shallow and deep taken this guy's too far close to the sideline and we're gonna have this big chunk at this right or left side of the hash that is going to be wide open for Brock Bowers, assuming that he gets away from that tight um, linebacker. And he absolutely does because 
he's a really good route runner against zone coverage. And now we're going to see that yak ability on full display. Brock Bowers left side of the screen. Nice little uh, shimmy move right there. A little hezzy cut towards the inside, putting that safety on pause right there deep down the field. And he catches this ball before that 25 yard line on the left hash, basically. And watch what he does, man. Stiffy runs past that defender and then runs away from that deep safety. Gets all the way into the freaking end zone, man. I mean, that was bad defense by Auburn, but an amazing play by Brock Bowers. That was probably his best game of the season, man. I mean, he put on basically everything that you want to see on tape in that one single game. And if you want to see some other prospects, I broke down Malik Neighbors as well. And you can check him out right here if you want.